Thank you. Next SB 2079 SC2 related to shark and lake protection. Aloha, Kaniela. Representatives, hope you got my packet I left for you the other week. Um, my name is Kaikea Nakachi. Uh, full support. I came over with my father from Moko Um We don't come representing an industry or a company. Uh, we come to represent fellow Hawaiians in the sharks and rays that this bill seeks to protect. Uh, we've come bearing a responsibility. Uh, one that my father has taught me, my grandfather, his father, and for generations before, uh, to Malama Aina, to Malama Mano, that responsibility predates Western law here, predates uh, modern fishing methods here, and I think it's a responsibility that should be represented in our laws here. Um, we fought for over 10 years in West Hawaii to protect sharks and rays, uh, we're here to continue that fight because um, it's protection that they once had and need once again. Um, you know, um, it is, um, I'm not going to add on their ecological role that's sort of been hammered into you guys, but I have something even more important to tell you. And it is something that is unique to Hawaii, and that is their cultural role the cultural identity they embody in me in my father and all other Hawaiians. And that alone, I think, is, is worth preserving at all costs. Um, I urge you guys to make the right decision for Hawaii, for her people, for the sharks and rays. Um, give them the protection they once had and need again. So thank you for your time. Mahalo and malama mano. Thank you. Aloha Kaniala and representatives. Uh, my name's Mike Nakachi. Uh, my son's very humble, uh, who spoke before. Uh, he doesn't mention any of his credentials. He is a biological oceanographer, and he is also working on his master's at TCBES in Hilo, uh, specializing in mono. Um, but I wish my dad was here. He's 85 years old. He'd rather go play golf instead of come and uh, come to Oahu and go eat good Chinese food. But what I'm going to talk about is something that is sacred to our family. If he was here, he would say, enough, enough talk, too much talk. This is something that for us as Kanaka should have been protected a long time ago. And I encourage you all to come to Moku Okiawe. We have a wonderful heiau, heiau o kupuni, okay? Right there, pu'u o kohola. King Kamehameha himself sat on the Alapai rock. We went there. The yeah, brother. Right. Awesome. And what happened? Sharks were revered. They were chiefs and chiefesses of the sea. Unfortunately, who was given his offering? <coughs> Humans. So I, I come from a perspective that my father learned from his mother and a wonderful first auntie, Auntie Pilahi Paki, told us some very <laughs> special things about our lineage and about our uh, right to malama and take care of something that's very sacred. You come from the island of Maui and a wonderful gentleman there, Uncle Charlie Kauluvehi Maxwell, who has since passed away, was also a kahumano. So we speak about certain things that are very sacred to us it's something that is not for exploitation. It's something that is spiritual. It's something that is, again, our family. There are very many mano that we could talk about individually or specifically, and there are far too many of them that we do not see today that we used to see 10 years ago and 20 years ago. So um, we mourn for those members that we don't see as often or we don't see anymore, but we welcome new family members that we have seen. Um, not only throughout, there's a lot of mo'olelo that can authenticate things with mano, and we have been blessed and privileged to authenticate a lot of that mo'olelo. So we just want to know that the culture is alive, and there are practitioners that do honor mano, and it is something that's sacred to us, and we're in full support of this bill. Thank you for your time and energy on it.
well, maybe that could, we, we, let, we'll put in the committee report that there's a lot of discussion about um, the practice of uh, feeding these sharks and making them more aggressive and if there's a way we can um, uh, kind of curtail that. So maybe in Judiciary Committee we can look at what will be a proper way to um, initiate some kind of penalty or disincentive for that. Uh, but uh, the Treasury recommendation is to pass uh, as is. Oh, with a new defective date. There's already a defective date. All right. Any questions, concerns? See no advice, Chair? Um, so, oh, go ahead. so thank you, Chair. Um, you know, <coughs> yes, uh, let the committee uh, report reflect. Uh, while there should be protection for sharks, there should, we should also consider while um, baiting sharks for um, exploitation is also a concern. Um, while um, the mano is also an amaku of many of us of, of native Hawaiians, I'm very concerned about the aggressiveness now while we exploit these under tourism practices and that I believe they should be um, swimming freely. Um, it does uh, pos possess a huge concern for me uh, particularly. Um, and with that being said, um, we let that reflect the committee report.